following paid programming is powered by Christa Santa Rosa. Celebrating 150 years of Christa Santa Rosa, a healing ministry for San Antonio's past, present, and future. Christa Santa Rosa is celebrating 150 years, and tonight we take a closer look at their history and how the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word would make a significant impact to healthcare in San Antonio. Sister Michelle O'Brien, a philanthropy officer at Christa Santa Rosa, tells the story of how the congregation began and evolved into a healthcare ministry. Our story as Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word began many years before we actually came to San Antonio. It began with the bishop, Bishop Claude Marie Dubuis, who was a native of France, who came as a missionary himself to Texas. And soon as he rose in the church and became the second bishop of Texas, he recognized the needs of the people of Texas. 1866, epidemics like yellow fever and cholera spread among the people in Texas, claiming many lives. The rapid spread of the diseases would decimate the population. It was because of these disheartening conditions that the Bishop of Texas, Claude Marie Dubuis, appealed for help in Lyon, France. And so he wrote a letter to Mother Angelique, who was a cloistered sister of Charity of the Incarnate Word and the Blessed Sacrament. And he asked her for people to come to Texas. Our Lord Jesus Christ, suffering in the multitude of the sick and infirm of every kind, seeks relief at your hands. Three women responded to the call and began their journey to Galveston, Texas. And in the ensuing months, others would follow. Three years later, in 1869, a cholera epidemic devastated the citizens of San Antonio. There was no relief. There were no hospitals in town. Only a few doctors and midwives to care for the sick. The people in San Antonio were also in desperate need of help. That is when the mayor asked Bishop Dubuis for assistance. At the bidding of the mayor, at the request of the mayor, to help San Antonio as he had helped the city of Galveston. He wanted that kind of care to be present in his community because indeed these epidemics had wiped out, had cost lives multiple times already. And three sisters would respond to the call to tend to the cholera victims in San Antonio. And so it was because of that that the women in France, at his request in telling that story, responded, made that long trip across the sea and to Galveston, and from Galveston in the stagecoach, responding again to our Lord Jesus Christ, suffering in a multitude, seeks relief at your hands. Three sisters suffered a long journey across the world and into Texas would finally reach San Antonio. But the place being prepared for them burned to the ground. That's when the Ursuline sisters would step in and provide a safe sanctuary for them. After several months of prayer and patience, the Santa Rosa Infirmary was built in 1869. He said, we're going to name this Santa Rosa Infirmary after the saint that had been named in the Americas. We're going to name it after that first saint, St. Rose. The Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word wasted no time announcing the opening of the hospital in a daily newspaper. 
Back in 1869, the sisters took out an article in the San Antonio Herald, basically saying that this infirmary, this hospital, will be open to all persons without distinction to nationality and creed, which is a pretty remarkable thing for 1869. And I'm proud to say that that tradition, which was handed down to us by our founding congregation, the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word, is alive and well today in 2019, just as it was in 1869. Today, the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word continue to grow and evolve in tandem with Christus Santa Rosa, and together, their mission and healing ministry continues to thrive to meet the needs of the community. The sisters gave us our name. Uh, Christus is a Latin word. It means Christ-like, uh, which is a beautiful name. We are literally announcing to the world and declaring that if you come to Christus Health, to Christus Santa Rosa for care, that we will treat you as Christ himself would treat you. And today, Christus Health, Santa Rosa is one of the largest regions in Christus Health. Today, Christus Health is one of the largest Catholic healthcare systems in the United States. Christus Santa Rosa provides state-of-the-art medical technology, the highest standards of excellence, and a mission of caring the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word founded 150 years ago. With the same love and passion that those original sisters had to begin such a ministry at a time when there was such a need. And we know those needs still are present. But do we do it? Do I do it still with the love and compassion that called them to come, to give up their home, to give up their lives? in service for others. And for me, that's a challenge to continue that challenge that I made many years ago, that commitment many years ago. But it's celebration and it's excitement and it's deep gratitude for the gifts of God. We take a closer look at the neonatal intensive care unit at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. The Children's Hospital NICU offers the highest level of neonatal care available. Up next, meet the Bernal family who share their story about baby Gracie who endured the impossible and who doctors call a miracle. 2018 was such a whirlwind for us. Um, on May 7th, we um, were admitted into um, a hospital in the medical center. Um, I was 24 weeks pregnant, um, had no idea that my water broke three days beforehand. I thought I was just having cramps, but in reality they were contractions. Gracie was born on May 7th, 2018, one pound, six ounces. As a micro preemie in such a fragile state, she would face 10 surgeries and numerous procedures. So medically, in terms of the pregnancy, um, like Gretchen said, her water had broke. And what had happened with her body medically is that her white blood cells were attacking Gracie as it were an infection. So within the first week, uh, the doctors had noticed that her small intestines had perforated which means that there was a hole. And so she had her first surgery uh, about one week into it, um, where the doctor had to go in and remove approximately 70% of Gracie's small intestines. And that was our first, that was our first close call. Nothing really prepared us for the journey that, the new chapter in life that we were starting on. Gracie's critical condition required a higher level of care and was then transferred to the Children's Hospital in San Antonio. So when she came to us, she had not only the complications of necrotizing enterocolitis, but um, a secondary complication that her liver started to fail. 
So she came to Children's Hospital of San Antonio to uh, be able to receive therapy that isn't available anywhere else in the city. And during the initial phase of her care, again, she was extremely sick. And there was a, d a given day when no one thought she would live through that day, to tell you the truth. Um, she was bleeding from everywhere. Her liver basically had cracked in half. You know, she was bleeding to death. During such a critical state, it would take an entire team of skilled physicians, nurses, and specialists at the Children's Hospital to save little Gracie. What makes a place like Children's Hospital San Antonio so special is that, you know, when they say it takes a village to raise a child, it absolutely takes a village to take care of a little girl like Gracie. Um, you not only have to have skilled neonatologists that can take care of the sickest neonates, but you also have to have an entire team. You have to have not only gastroenterologists, um, but gastroenterologists that specialize in the liver. So we have hepatologists here at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio that make this place very, very special. Hands down, the Children's Hospital provided us a team, a support, a community of not only medical professionals who know their craft, um, they're talented, they're gifted, they shared their talents and their personality and their humility with us, but they fed us spiritually as well. Um, I'm so grateful there's a chapel when you first walk into the hospital. And other hospitals that I've been to, the chapel is on the fifth, sixth floor. And if I'm on the first floor, I'm not gonna go over the, there, but we, uh, we were fed spiritually because we always have to walk into the hospital. So for me, if we put God first, <laughs> we know that the rest will fall into place. She actually, uh, she actually made it through that day, and um, and that she, that was a miracle because I don't think anybody really thought she would make it through that day. It's one of those days that, as a physician, you'll remember forever. Gracie's fragile little body went through a total of 30 procedures and would spend 10 months, nearly an entire year, in the NICU. After 10 months, Gracie was then ready to go home. I think it's very powerful that you hear um, your doctor tell us, she told us, um, you will end up back in the hospital. And looking back, I'm so grateful she said that one clear comment to us, you will end up back in the hospital. Because you never want a parent to ever think they, uh, they didn't do their very best. So I just wanted the mom to know that, that she would be readmitted and that things weren't going to go perfectly. There would be setbacks, just like there, there were at the hospital. And that, you know, those setbacks she was going to be able to overcome. It's been a long journey for the Bernal family. But the Children's Hospital of San Antonio's highest standard of care has given Gracie the opportunity to thrive at home with her parents. And so all of that, all of that prepared us for where we're at now. Um, having busted through all the obstacles, um, even the staff there at, at Children's Hospital called her their little miracle baby because there's, there were times, like I said, where the doctors couldn't explain it, but she, she made it. She made it. Um, she turned it around and she made it. Gracie's miraculous story is a testimony to what the Children's Hospital of San Antonio can provide. A true dedication to advanced medical services and a healing ministry. The CEO at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio and Senior Vice President of Maternal Services, Chris Daskovich, tells us why maternal health is important for expecting moms and her baby. Just like the Bernal family, every family has access to leading experts here at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. We are working to create greater access across our community, and we think it's so very important for families to know what's available to them and that they will not have to leave San Antonio to get the level of care that they need and they deserve. 
We are continuing to grow, to create access, to recruit the best and the brightest physicians and associates at all levels of care for moms, for babies, and for families. So it's important that women know and that dads know that we're here for them. The Children's Hospital of San Antonio offer women and their families peace of mind by delivering comprehensive and compassionate care. The children's health and maternal health are both um, at the forefront of what we've always done at Christus Health and at Christus Santa Rosa. They've been part of our history for 150 years in taking care of the most vulnerable, and many times that was women and children. So we have a long-standing history of caring for women and for children. And it's important, many people may ask, why at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio? But if we really want to make a difference in the long-term outcomes of a child's life, then we begin taking care of that child at inception. So it makes complete sense that we would want to be on this journey with a mother and her family um, through the pregnancy and having a lifetime of care with that family. As the Children's Hospital of San Antonio and Christa Santa Rosa excel in maternal health, men's health at Christa Santa Rosa Medical Center are leading the way with state-of-the-art technology, compassionate and quality care. Meet an internationally renowned urologic oncologist, Dr. Ian Thompson, Jr who talks about Christa Santa Rosa's commitment to the innovation of men's health and how they provide world-class care for their patients. Well, men's health is obviously extremely important because guys frequently don't go to the doctor very often. And so a lot of the men's health has to do with preventive medicine, like keeping your heart healthy and preventing cancer and preventing stroke and uh, good mental health and so forth. So Christus really is involved in this in a whole range of areas. For example, in cardiac health, we have lectures to the community. We have a, a truly impressive cardiology program here with some of the best state-of-the-art equipment in all of San Antonio. And from cancer early detection, treatment, management afterwards, we have some of the best physicians and best, best technology in all of San Antonio. In fact, a lot of folks don't recognize that a lot of some of the most fundamentally most important research that has changed the way that we diagnose, prevent, and treat cancer came from San Antonio, and a lot of the work is being done at Christus. Dr. Thompson explains why this advanced technology is vital to men's health care and how this technology is saving lives at Christa Santa Rosa Hospital Medical Center. My father was a urologist as well. Um, he had heart disease and a bypass. If we had the technology back then when he had his, he died when he was about 55 years old he would have witnessed the birth of my children. Um, uh, he might still be around today to see his great-grandchildren. What we're able to do with our, our, when I say we, I mean our cardiologists and our team of, our cath lab team is able to do, is to do things you could never have imagined before. To open up the arteries to the heart, to allow the heart muscle to um, rapid, to, to, to go back to normal, to prevent heart attacks. Um, it's extraordinary what's possible. And the other amazing thing is that now we're able to do it even more safely with far less radiation. So the imaging is, the superiority of the imaging is amazing and we're able to do it 75, 80% less radiation dose to the doctor and to the patient. Uh, it's, it's truly extraordinary what technology allows us to do today in the hands of really, really experienced uh, interventional cardiologists here at Medical Center Hospital. While technology and physicians bring a higher level of excellence at Christa Santa Rosa Hospital, their nurses are also essential, bringing compassionate care to each patient. The thing that makes Medical Center extraordinary as all of our Christus hospitals. It's not the physicians, it's not the buildings and the equipment, it's the nurses. 
Those are the individuals who one-on-one -on -one are taking care of the patients 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're the ones who are providing the support for them, both the medical side as well as the spiritual side. They're the ones who are the folks who are identifying problems, calling the physicians, bringing those to our attention. And those problems can be medical problems, they can also be spiritual problems because our responsibility is not just healing the body but also healing the soul. And the level of compassion and the level of expertise of our nurses makes that all possible here at Medical Center. Patty Tony, the Vice President and Chief Nurse of the Executive Southern Division at Christus Health, explains why the nurses at Christus Santa Rosa are so valuable for the patient experience. I think if there's anything that differentiates a Santa Rosa nurse, it is compassion. It is what our nurses are known for. We hear that from our physicians, from our patients, from our families, and our nurses themselves, if you ask them, what is the most important thing to them? It is delivering care with compassion. The nurses at Christa Santa Rosa Hospital have met the highest standards and were recognized nationwide, receiving the Magnet and Beacon Award. So the Magnet Award uh, is the highest honor for nursing excellence in the nation. There's only about 480 hospitals that have achieved that nationwide. Uh, that has become the most prestigious award for nursing and it speaks to not just to nursing but to the entire organization because it's all about are we creating an environment for a professional nurse to work to the top of her license to feel like she has ownership or he has ownership of their professional practice that's one piece of it the other piece that's incredibly important is the clinical outcomes and the patient satisfaction and those clinical outcomes are how well are we taking care of our patients how safely do we take care of them uh, so we're incredibly proud of them uh, our children's hospital has also achieved the magnet award so we have two hospitals within our health care system the beacon award comes from the American Association of Critical Care Nurses and it looks specifically at critical care units or as we would know them as intensive care units in a hospital and again, that's a top award and very few hospitals have achieved that. So we're very proud of them. The mission and core values at Christus Santa Rosa is supported by the foundations and together they provide our community with the highest quality health care system. The Vice President and Chief Development Officer John Bell explains how the foundations are a life-saving support. Good morning, John. How are you? I'm doing great. So the foundation office is responsible for two foundations, the Friends Foundation for our adult hospitals and the Children's Hospital Foundation for the Children's Hospital. Philanthropy is a tool to help serve the people. Since the founding by the sisters, we have been committed to serving every patient, young or old, and making sure, regardless of their ability to pay, that we can provide them with the right care at the right time and give them the opportunity for healing and hope. Innovation would never occur to the level it does in the United States without philanthropy. You can take virtually every single major discovery in any area of health and you'll find underpinnings, the roots of philanthropy in that. Here in San Antonio, we've had new drug discoveries, new treatments. We could not do what we're able to do here, which is some of the best cancer care anywhere in the world, without these extraordinary individuals who have provided their support to make it possible. So the Friends Foundation has been absolutely essential in being able to take our level of care to the next step. In our remodeled emergency department, which is number one in all of Christus, it's due to the Friends Foundation. Our new oncology unit, we couldn't have done it without the Friends Foundation. Some of our uh, investment in research here at the hospital, directly due to the Friends Foundation. So superior patient care, better patient care, directly due to the foundation. Dean Alexander. CEO at Christus Santa Rosa Healthcare describes how their mission impacts the community and our local economy. 
Chris has been involved a long time in this community, taking care of our community. We take care of all who come to our doors, regardless of their ability to pay. We work collaboratively with community services to make sure that we're providing funding, we're providing volunteerism, we're providing whatever assistance they need to take care of our community. Certainly can't lose context that we're providing great care to our patients and hopefully getting people well and back to their jobs, which is very important to our economy because I know we have a vibrant economy that's based upon good jobs and people working. So getting people to our facilities, getting them well and getting them back to employment is a great thing that we do. Krista Santa Rosa has evolved through the years and continues to integrate quality health care with the healing ministry the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word founded 150 years ago. Here's a closer look at how this legacy and health care will continue to help improve the lives in the community in the near future. In the future, we'll certainly we'll be building on the 150 years we currently have here. So we want to pay great homage to what's brought us to this point, the many people that have given of themselves through the years and through generations to take care of this community. So we want to build from that strength. But we don't want to be stuck on that past. We want to really look forward. We know that the majority of health care progressively is being provided outside of a hospital setting. So the majority of the facilities that we're building are outpatient facilities closer to where people live. So we're going to where people live to take care of them in their communities where they are. As the future of health care progresses, Krista Santa Rosa's Family Medicine Residency Program is also training tomorrow's physicians to meet the demand in our community. There are two residency programs, Family Medicine Residency for training family medicine physicians and at the Children's Hospital, a pediatric residency program training pediatricians. Both programs are graduating excellent physicians. Half of those physicians are staying in this community. That's an enormous and wonderful resource for people who need to see a doctor. Very unique, certainly by 150 years that we've been here in San Antonio serving this community. The, the longest, uh, one of the oldest businesses in San Antonio and providing care for those who come to us. In addition to that, we're the only 100% faith-based uh, healthcare delivery system in San Antonio, Texas. And there you have it. From the simple beginnings through God's grace, the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word would forever impact the healthcare in San Antonio where that small Santa Rosa infirmary would grow to become Christus Santa Rosa. Christus Santa Rosa Health System with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, celebrating 150 years. Commitment to the patient experience is our mission at the Alamo Heights Women's Surgical Institute. Nationally recognized with the Preskini Guardian of Excellence Award for four straight years, Christus Santa Rosa Hospital Alamo Heights has been dedicated to the health and well-being of our women. Every single one of our ladies deserve the care and attention that only our team at Christus can provide. Christus Santa Rosa Health System with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, celebrating 150 years. As the crown jewel of children's health care in South Texas, the Children's Hospital of San Antonio celebrates 60 years of providing world-class care to children and new mothers. Founded by the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word, today, the Children's Hospital remains a beacon of hope for families and children of all ages who need experienced and compassionate care. Christus Santa Rosa Health System with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, celebrating 150 years. 
Krista Santa Rosa Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is dedicated to our young athletes and to the young at heart. Our specialists offer the most comprehensive orthopedic, pediatric, and primary care. From hip and knee pain, sprains and fractures, to joint replacement and sports medicine, Krista's Orthopedics helps you back on your feet and back in the game. Expect more. Case that's well.